I know. <laughs>welcome guys to my channel um, I have my phone here because I had to write notes of what I was going to talk about because I do not like long videos anymore I like stuff to be straight to the point and concise so I wanted to start off one by um, thanking you guys who have been commenting and supporting and watching my videos um, there's some kind of YouTube glitch that's been mentioned out through the YouTube community that um, some of you are being unknowingly unsubscribed to my channel and probably other channels that you watch quite often. So since this is going to be my first Vlogmas um, video and I'm going to be doing videos every day, if you guys want to stay up to date on things just in case, if you look down uh, right below this video, right next to the word subscribe, if you haven't subscribed already, you probably want to do that. And there's a little bell. Just select that and that will allow you to get notifications every time I upload a video. So make sure you guys do that. Um, but I do want to thank you guys in advance and thank those of you who have been supporting me from the beginning, whether from this channel and my last, my, not my last, but my beauty channel. I want to thank you guys so much for, you know, sticking there with me. So, as I mentioned, this is my first, um, Vlogmas video. Uh, what Vlogmas is, is that uh, there's videos that are done every day all the way up until, I uh, believe, Christmas or 25th. So you will have about 20 videos. I'm starting it on the 5th of December. Not to mention this is also my birthday month. My birthday is December 16th. So um, just look forward to some videos every day. Probably with this channel, which is my fitness channel, it'll probably be earlier in the day, like somewhere between 12 and 4 o'clock. I'll try to get videos up, but uh, if not, it'll be later in the evening, and don't worry, I'll just get a video up every day. So, since those things have been mentioned, let me tell you guys where I've been. I have not posted any videos which has been in the past three months the last video I believe that I posted uh, I believe it was the video on trying to become a spokesmodel for bodybuilding.com uh, which you guys are probably aware if you follow bodybuilding.com in any way shape form or fashion that I didn't get in you know I didn't get in and I wasn't I didn't get in the, the top 20 and then they do the vote for the top 10 and then they find the one girl and the one guy. So unfortunately I didn't get into it. Um, just lately I have been feeling kind of like ugh because I didn't do the October show, I didn't do a November show and I didn't get into bodybuilding.com. So it's been kind of like a ugh, just a bad... <sighs> A negative vibe for me so uh, I ended up taking a break <laughs> I took a break from the whole prepping not for you guys to think that I have totally given up on trying to compete because I will I, I know April is exactly a day that I want to do it um, there's the WBFF which is the um, world beauty fashion and fitness um, competition and I'm planning on doing the transformation division so I am currently right now working into um, doing that show which is in April of 2017 I'm also thinking about uh, doing um, going to the Arnold Classics in Ohio so you guys if you're interested in seeing me there I'll make sure there's a video up later on about that one but yeah I've been feeling kind of about everything and feeling like a little bit unsuccessful but it's okay because I have learned some some interesting things about myself about what diet works for me what my fitness goals all of that and I'm going to be sharing it during the vlogmas um, times so you guys will see that but um yeah that's what I'm looking at so what when I took that rest uh, during that time it was a controlled diet um, and in the following video I'll show you what my you know 
physique and everything has changed and looks like now and how I'm changing my diet and my goals and all of that for the month of December. But lately, over the past three uh, weeks, I have been dealing with um, my husband's uh, mental illness. Now, before we go into this and give you a little bit more insight of what I've been going through when it comes to that, uh, please be mindful of what you say, whatever in the comments. Um, I, no, I'm not dealing with mental illness myself, but I have a loved one who happens to be my husband who is my other half that is going through it. And when he goes through it, I mean, Bible doesn't say one flesh for no reason. <laughs> so before you make any comments, if you have anything negative to say or you think I shouldn't be sharing this, you know, pff, you. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but think about it before you do that. It has very much affected my life in a different way. I have a soft spot for people who deal with mental illness. I have a soft spot for people with schizophrenia, uh, bipolarism, PTSD, um, ADHD, uh, ADD. Uh, I have a soft spot for people like that. And unfortunately, this is not talked about. Um, there are people out there who do have these mental illnesses and they talk about it, but um, they're, they're really bashed and judged and they're giving this word that they're crazy or whatever and it's so dismissive and I have a soft spot for that. So it does bother me because I feel like you're attacking, you know, me, even though I may not be dealing with any mental illness. Um, as a woman, and I'm pretty sure the hundreds and thousands and millions and billions of women out there can relate to this. We PMS, uh, postpartum depression, all the different things that mess with our hormones can resemble some of those mental illnesses. So that's what I have been dealing with for the past three weeks. Not of my own, but just being there for my husband. It's been very rough. It's tough. Um, it's a stigma, you know, it, it makes them feel very judgmented or ju not judgmental, but feel judged. Um, I know it's very difficult to talk a lot about it with my husband because it, it's, it, if you look at it in, from a standpoint, it can feel very embarrassing that there's something wrong or not necessarily wrong. There's just something, yeah, something wrong with hormones and your brain or something has happened in your life that has caused that shift and it's embarrassing because you don't feel normal so when you don't feel normal and you have a significant other that other person doesn't feel normal either and you know some of those um, those negative vibes and feelings that comes with mental illness definitely um, it rubs off on your significant others, including your children or anyone that's in the household. So thank Jehovah he is actually taking his medication. Um, it's working, but you know, I have to expect this every once in a while. You know, we're, we're living in a time where the world is just, it sucks right now. Um, he's a, he's ex-military, so he was Navy and he was Army. He's been overseas once with the Army and I think a few times with the Navy. But um, I don't know what he's seen down there, what he may have experienced down there. And then growing up with my husband, I knew he had, you know, some form of manic depression. But, you know, I don't want to blow it all beyond what it might really be because mental illness is so tricky. It's so hard. There's so many people out there that thinks they can just diagnose you <laughs> you know but it's just it's just different for everybody and the past three weeks has been total rough and i want to cry about it but it's been rough because that's my husband and i love him dearly and i feel nobody that goes through mental illness deserves to feel not normal so when I say I have a soft spot for that, I really do. <laughs> Sometimes I hear some of my friends and close colleagues say I should have been a psychiatrist, but really it has nothing to do with that. It's just my love for people. So 
that's what I've been dealing with. Now, as for me, I have been able to get my schedule and stuff back on track, you know, and I know I'm placed with him for a reason because I have that mental stability. It rubs off on him and I'm totally fine with that. Totally fine with that. Um, I'm definitely going to go and make sure that I have some help myself so that I can be there for him and so that um, I can be able to manage for myself as well um, how to deal with it and then how to deal with you know any moments of depression that I have because we all go through it it may not be necessarily considered a mental illness but we all go through depression we all go through stress and different things that goes on in our life but it's a little bit more stressful when you do have a significant other or someone in the family that you're very close to that also has um, that has a mental illness. So it's it's difficult. But yeah, that's where I've been, guys. I'm back. <laughs> I have not fallen completely off the wagon. I have new goals. Um, getting back into the beginning of things. I just finished, you know my online training with you know a few of my clients I've gotten them together so hopefully I'll be starting back up in January because I decided to take December as my break so I'm not taking any new clients right now because I hope to kind of like train you in a sense through these vlogs <laughs> so I hope you guys stay tuned because I'm gonna have videos every day I'm gonna be setting up a Facebook page for my fitness channel so that I can do like live videos every day or every once in a while as well motivation or whatever so I'll make sure you guys know about that um, I have to update my website I've seen a lot of people are subscribing to my website and unfortunately I have not put out any <laughs> you know real content to it yet but I will um, because I teach web design sometimes it's hard to keep up with my own because I'm always helping others but those are some things that's going to be happening uh, next and if you guys have any questions you got any concerns anything you want to comment on and want me to do a video on leave it down in the comment box below make sure you press that nice little I think it's on this side or is it on this side it's probably on this side next to the subscribe button there's a little bell there click on it make sure you subscribe if you haven't um, got lots to share with you and look at my shirt I have eat sleep gym repeat funny it was at Myers <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next video I love you I'm back and I will see you in the next one and I said it already